Digimon Data Squad or Savers Biohybrids. A really fascinating but I think under talked about part of Digimon. Similar to in Digimon Frontier, they are humans with the ability to become Digimon. But rather than spirit evolution, the biohybrid users become bio versions of existing Digimon, each with an armor Digimon acting as a champion and then a strong mega Digimon as their hyper bio extra evolution. So this begs the question, if theoretically the biohybrids stuck around into Digimon Data Squad movies or into the rest of the franchise. What would their full evolution lines be? Based on existing information and some of my own personal brand of conjecture, and with thanks to DigiDestin level channel member Dresden Nova for the idea, let's find out today. And hey Paisanos, before we get started, this video is sponsored by who? That's right, Bai. Bai is the proxy service getting you access to goods from Japan, like the Hawkmon slash Halsamon armor toy that I picked up using Bai in December. And Bai makes it so easy to do so by supporting Japanese websites like Makari, Rakuten, Yahoo Japan Auctions and Shopping, Amazon JP, and much, much more. And of course, as that Bai ambassador, when you use my link, you get a kickback. So Bai will give you 2,000 yen towards any purchase you make when you sign up and make an account with my link. And Bayi loves to celebrate things like the new year by giving away coupons. So it's always worth checking the website and your email because they regularly give out cool coupons. Plus there is the browser extension, which you can add to browsers like Chrome, Opera GX and more. Shop directly on websites like Amazon JP, add to your cart and check out. So do go check out Bayi, use my link, get that 2000 yen coupon. And thank you to Bayi for sponsoring this video and paying for some upcoming custom art videos. What is up digital companions? My name is Khan EX, happy new year and uh, well, yes. <laughs> feel like twice or three times a year you guys just have to deal with me being sick and uh this is another one filming this in december though am i still sick who knows <laughs> and yes new year and basically same me but i guess this has become a new series right we've tried to work out full evolution lines for groups like the zero two epilogue kids the monster makers and the davers and now it's time for the bio hybrids and if there's another group in digimon human or digimon that you'd like me to hypothesize the full evolution lines for let me know in the comments down below okay so our first bio hybrid antagonist is nanami who can become bio kotalmon and Bio Lotus Mon. And I think these are super fun. While Nanami considers herself a rival to Thomas, I think you can also somewhat see how she acts as a shadow to Yoshino's Sonic, if you will, with that Lotus Mon Mega matching up with Yoshino's Rosemon Mega. I could really see these two forming Reflessimon, you know? So for Nanami's Bio Ultimate, I think retaining femininity is important, similar to Lilamon. But a pick I adore for her then is Arukenimon. Or for this video, Bio Arukenimon. Yeah, I threw together some Bio edits in Photoshop for the video. Why not, it's fun. This I think matches Nanami's gothic Lolita style quite well. The two side by side could even allude to how Arukenimon takes human form in various Digimon media. In fact, the old card game even used Arukenimon as a Bio Lotusmon specific pre-evolution. So Arukenimon connecting to Bio Lotusmon is definitely in the minds of the people of Bandai. Design wise, I think it works too with the hair of Arukenimon feeling like a natural extension of the hair of Bio Kotalmon. And while not a plant like Lotusmon, Arukenimon occupies a ton of similar spaces to plant Digimon. Digimon that have attributes that are like plant life, insects, arachnids, and so on tend to occupy very similar spaces in groups like jungle troopers and so on. Then for Nanami's bio rookie, it's nothing too exciting. If we view the bio hybrids as evolving in power and design with each iteration, then the rookie to me would make sense to be a bio wormmon. Kotalmon is traditionally a wormmon armory of evolution of light, and Wormmon itself works really nicely as a one step down from Kotalmon. However, if you'd like to skirt the Zero Two references, because there may be more coming up, I think a Bio Kunemon would work well too. Then is Koki, the modified human who can become Bio Thunderbirdmon and Bio Darkdramon. I'm gonna start with the rookie for Koki because I like Bio Hawkmon conceptually a lot. Hawkmon is another notable bird partner beside the Falcomon and Biomon of Data Squad, and Koki's first appearance in Data Squad was defending Karata from Chromon. Bio Hawkmon becoming Bio Thunderbird 
Thunderbirdmon also works very well. Though weirdly Thunderbirdmon has never been seen to be a Hawkmon friendship armor, the Thunderbird itself is a mythological or legendary creature of certain indigenous North American cultures. And with Hawkmon's very clear Native American influences, I think Bio Hawkmon to Bio Thunderbirdmon becomes more of a concrete connection. Then we need to bridge the gap between Bio Thunderbirdmon and Bio Darkdramon. And I think a really solid pick is Megadramon, or indeed Bio Megadramon. Megadramon is another Digimon used by the old card game as a specifically Bio Darkdramon pre evolution, and I think its purple wings and Dramon nature are a really good middle ground between Bio Thunderbirdmon and Bio Darkdramon. And another design note, just as an aside, is that Megadramon's helmet piece really lends itself nicely to being turned into a Bio form, as the main distinction between Bio forms is usually just the color of the head, or the big TMNT Bio ooh sticking out of their back. And then finally is Ivan, our last Bio hybrid evolving modified human. Ivan can become Bio Stegomon, our second Bio based on a friendship armor, and then his Mega is Bio Spinomon. That to me is a pretty clear dinosaur theme for Ivan, and so for his rookie, I therefore chose to give him Bio Dracomon. We're actually kind of limited for very specifically dinosaur rookie Digimon. There's quite a few dragons, of course, between Monodramon, Dracomon, Vemon, etc. But as far as actual dinosaurs go, we have a much smaller scope. Part of me heavily considered a Bio Agumon, because of course Agumon 2006 is Marcus's partner, but Ivan doesn't really match up with Marcus on a narrative level. He's more of a foil to Yoshino, who he's a bit of a dinosaur in his romantic overstepping towards. So it wouldn't feel right for me if he got an Agumon. There's no real need for him to have a rival to Marcus. I also considered maybe giving him bio forms of Gammon or Gaussmon, but given that all of our picks up to this point have complied to being pre-savers, I think Gaussmon or Gammon would be an unnecessary breaking of chronology, and in Gammon's case, it's a very prominent part of Digimon too. Would feel weird to give Gammon to a bio hybrid from Data Squad. So I'm sticking with Bio Dracomon, however, I could be one around to using Agumon or your suggestions in the comments. Then, for the evolution of Bio Stegamon, I'm finally disagreeing with the card game pick, which chose Volcamon as the ultimate that digivolves into Bio Spinomon. But I really don't like this pick. I can see why they chose it, with Volcamon's whole physicality being very reminiscent of Ivan, the big stocky man. However, it totally abandons the dinosaur theming, outside of a very tenuous connection of kind of like volcanoes, dinosaurs, ancient land kind of things. Only really ancient Volcamon to me would work as that connection, and that's of course a Mega. And it doesn't even have the spikes which are present in Biostegamon and Biospinamon either. So while I do see the logic, I really wanted to have a dinosaur in this biohybrid slot. Which brought me to a couple of contenders. First and foremost would be Triceramon, which is a great and established Spinomon pre-evolution. But it lacks spines on its back, just the horns. But funnily enough, Triceramon X does have spikes along its back. And even though chronologically it would work, I just don't think they'd throw a random X antibody in here for one of the bio hybrids, so I think that's disqualified. The other Digimon I did consider, however, was Brachiomon, because it's a dinosaur, which is fun, but it essentially has the exact same problems as Triceramon minus a few points. So yes, all that being said, we're going with Bio Triceramon. I've said this for ages now, but Ankylomon needs a spiky ultimate, Stegomon needs a spiky ultimate. Basically, we just need more spiky dinosaurs or Digimon, or Dinosaur Digimon in general. But anyway, these are my evolution line propositions for Digimon Data Squad or Savers Bio Hybrids, based on some existing Bandai solutions and some logic of my own. Let me know your ideas in the comments down below. These picks are far from objective and it's always fun hearing you guys theory craft in the comments too. Or maybe you just totally agree with my picks. Either way, let me know what group you want to see me do full evolution lines for next. Like maybe the Royal Knights, Olympus 12, or some other huge human groups with Digimon partners. Let me know all that in the comments down below. Huge shout out to my sovereigns, ZDK14 and Jmon, as well as all the other channel members you can see on screen right now for supporting this channel with their hard earned money. We're gonna be going a little bit more easy in January and February, cause I'm gonna be on vacation. Oh my God, first time since COVID. <laughs> so channel memberships are one of the main ways that we're gonna be keeping the video train going aside from sponsors. Check out the video below me cause it's one that YouTube knows you will love from my channel. And I will see you next time when we go digital. Bye bye.